Hi, so before we get started, I'd just like to ask you, if you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel and also at the end of the video, please consider give it a thumbs up if you found it useful. Also leave a comment below on ways to and suggestions and ways to improve this video moving forward. Let's go. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a JUnit 5 Gradle project using IntelliJ IDEA 2019.1. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new project. We're going to select Gradle. Let's pick um, the JDK 1.8. Let's enter the group ID. Craft of programming.com. The artifact ID will be JUnit 5 Gradle example. And let's just uh, leave these defaults and leave this default location and default Gradle project name. Good. So now we have our project created and if we open the Gradle window, we see that we have the tasks here and we can, you know, assemble this project and everything is good. So uh, this project, this Gradle project is using Gradle uh, wrapper which is pulling or using Gradle 4.10 uh, here. This works because um, from version of Gradle 4.6 onwards, um, we have native um, support of JUnit 5. The only thing we need to do is in the Gradle project, we need to add a dependency with JUnit 5. So we just add an, an element here and the only thing we need to do is we need to say use JUnit, if I know how to type, JUnit platform. Good. So that's the only thing we need. And um, this is obviously using JUnit uh, 4.12. So let's um, comment this for now and add the dependencies with uh, JUnit 5. So recall that uh, the dependency with JUnit 5 is through the Jupyter API as well as the Jupyter engine. So for JUnit 5 we have to add two dependencies here. So the first one is org.junit.jupyter that's the group and the um, artifact name is uh, JUnit-Jupyter-API and let's pick the latest version, which is 5.4.1. So that's for the API, which is a compile time dependency. And let's add a runtime dependency for the engine, uh, which is just, we just need to change the API to engine. Okay, so that's it. You just need this uh, compile time dependency with the Jupyter, Jupyter API, and you need this runtime dependency with the engine and you need to add these so that you have native support of uh, JUnit 5. So now to test as this works, let's, let's uh, create a um, test, uh, a JUnit 5 test class. And um, let's just use JUnit 5 sample test. Okay, so let's add a test method here. And notice that uh, when I added this test method, the correct, I already got the correct import. Uh, the test method now comes from the Jupyter API. And um, another thing that I'm doing is notice that IntelliJ is already suggesting here something, which is that I don't need the public, so I can make it pack package private, both the method and the entire class. This is a new feature of the JUnit 5. So let me just add a few, um, uh, things here. Uh, let me add a basic assert equals, um, I don't know, that 2 equals 1 plus 1. Let's complete this and let's import static. Good. So notice that assert equals is also coming now from the assertions package, in, which is part of the Jupyter API. Let me add another test method. Uh, again, remove the public uh, from the signature and obviously let's just call it flaky test um, and because it's flaky let me add the disabled uh, let me see call flaky test and uh, just print something here 
Good. So now we have the, I mean, as simple as it gets, a JUnit 5 test, where we have a test method that just does a basic assertion, and we have another disabled test. So let's go back to our Gradle window and let's um, run this test um, task and see if it works. So notice that two tests pass, okay? The one was ignored, which is the flaky test, and our test method ran. So we have here the output, okay? So this is how you would use the latest and greatest um, Jupyter or JUnit 5, um, uh, you know, using Gradle. So you just need basically these um, to add these um, uh, dependencies with the Jupyter API and the engine and the native support here. Now, another thing I'd like to show you is how you would um, configure a Gradle project for backwards compatibility. So the only thing we need to do here is we need to swap out the Jupyter API with the JUnit. Okay, so this is basically pulling the um, JUnit 4.12, but what we need to s change here is uh, the to use the vintage uh, engine and vintage engine okay so that's it so that's pretty much what we need to do so now let's go back to our test and obviously you know we're gonna have to make it um, a j unit for test so the first thing we need to do is let's just rename this guy to j unit 4 okay um, let's just do this refactoring and let's um, import the test from the JUnit 4 instead. Okay, so we have a basic, our plain vanilla JUnit 4 test. And let's go to our Gradle window and run our test. Good, so as you can see, two tests ran, one is ignored, and our test method uh, passed. So. This is how you would set up um, Gradle uh, to run um, a JUnit 4 tests in the new JUnit 5 engine. So I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching.